There's the work called The Partnership at the Grove Park Inn, another called Water and Time at the Statesville Civic Center, and Properties of Light at a Greenway in Cary. I hope that, that our work can give people a better connection with nature. It is a very natural element. It's a type of earth art, you might say. As a creator, you're always being inspired by nature itself and other art forms. Carl Peveroff has been a multimedia artist for decades, but when he started working with stone, it was a game changer. After being a professional artist for about 35 years, I started working with stone. And it just takes everything, it draws upon every aspect of my being uh, intellectually, emotionally, and technically. Allowing the stones sort of to speak for themselves and maintaining the soul that these stones have naturally, but also trying to bring that out by combining these different stones in an abstract way. Carl and Ethan work with stone that weigh thousands of pounds, and there is definitely a physics and a physicality to their work. Each sculpture is handled with a pulley system. There is careful cutting and drilling of stone to create the art. They work with all kinds of stones. The Tennessee sandstone is a favorite. It makes these wonderful canvas-like shapes that we can stand up like we like to do and engage other components with some of the landscape qualities that are present in the stone and as an inspiration and uh, work from there. This piece is called the viewfinder. The square cutout is the portal to see the world. The cube represents the part of yourself you have to cut out to really see. The art form draws you in, connecting on an elemental level. To simply bring out that natural connection that humans have with these ancient artifacts. I love the stone. That's the main thing. It's just something that both Ethan and I deeply, soulfully love. Stone is where the father-son artisan team came together. Carl worked for decades to find his way to stone. Ethan, you might say, was born into it. But to collaborate as artists is unique, and both father and son see it as a gift. I know there's a lot of father-son partnerships out there in the world, but I think there's really something special and unique about the connection that my dad and I share. We are equal partners in, in the creation and making of all of this work. The Pepperall team stays busy. While many of their sculptures are for private collectors, they do have public pieces. The hallmark of their work is that much of what Mother Nature creates is kept intact but it's reimagined and shaped, giving Stone a superpower to engage the audience. Of course, people are fascinated just to see someone working in this heavy material. Liz Brown owns the Anvil Art Sculpture Garden and Gallery, which showcases Peverall's work. It's about the artwork itself and what draws people into the work. There's, there's something about the material and about the way Carl and Ethan handle that work that just seems to resonate with people, that they make a connection to the work. There's a timelessness to their work. Stones that took thousands, even millions of years to form are given new life in a way that only artists can give. To create and produce on this level is breathtaking. But for Carl and Ethan, there's an added layer of the father and son relationship and sharing their life passion together. He brings an absolute unguarded honesty to it. It's the biggest honor that I have in my life. I think about it every day. I thank the universe almost every day for presenting this opportunity to me. As Carl has said, there's a feeling of magic that lives through the combination of nature and art. For Carolina Impact, I'm Suzette Re reporting.